Right, uh, welcome to Dozens of Football Stand for the Crook versus Mask FA Cup preliminary round. I've actually managed to say it right. Dad, it's only your uh, second your second mask away game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Dad Castle, you came to this time. What's your thoughts on this new ground? This ground looks alright, eh? Quite, quite yeah, a nice ground, too, isn't it? Considering it's a non league ground, it's not too bad. Yeah. The weather's nice, so yeah. as long as that holds up. And this game, ca- drops, this, this, this game yeah. can't be much worse than yesterday's Boa match. <laughs> Uh, well, well, it could only be an improvement, really. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to this. Um, Crook versus Mask, I can't wait, actually, because uh, this is my first... This is actually my first FA Cup game with Mask. Because um, most of the time, they're normally on Tuesday nights, and I don't go to Tuesday night games. Um, but, like I said, it's a really, it is a nice ground. This is a classic um, non-league ground. Plus, you've got practically a Premier League pitch as well. Really good ground, I have to say. And uh, let's hope it's an enjoyable game. I'm going 3-1 Mask because this team that we're against are apparently two leagues below Mask. So, realistically, we should come away with the win. But it's the FA Cup. Anything can happen. Your prediction? Uh, 2-0. 2-0, good. Come on, Mask! Nice pre-match food. Um, Unfortunately, there's no iron brew today, so we've had to settle with a diet cork. It's time for the Dozens Football Stand Cheeseburger Review. Very nice, solid 7 out of 10. Right, today's lineup starting with Mask in goal, Ryan Catterick, Andrew May, Curtis Round, Glenn Butterworth, Kevin Burgess, Adam Wheatley, Connor Smith, Craig Gott, Adam Boys, Louis Johnson, and Lewis Maloney. For Cooktown, their starting 11 is Warren and Makepeace, Matthew Grossens, Anthony Ferretti, Jordan Fielding, Dale Elgie, Daniel Myers, Joe Hillaby, Callum Johnston, Daniel Madison, Corey Nicholson, and Joseph Smith. The subs are on the screen for you there. Come on! Come on, Matt! Come on! Oh. Oh. Come on! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Come on! Yes! Oh, have a hit, man! Oh, on. What was that? Ooh! <laughs> Come on! Ah! Oh, have a hit! Wahey! Still in! Hit it! Oh! Have a shot! Oh my god! Oh. One thing I've noticed in this match so far is that we're, we're just playing it down the left hand side to maintain it. We've got Connor, yeah, we've got not, Connor Smith, the number seven, down the right hand side. We don't even bloody use him. What's, what's the point of having a man down the right hand side if you're not going to use him? That's right, yeah. The, the, Pointless the, match. They're not spreading the ball, they're just too condensed in that section, aren't they? Come on! Ah, come on! Right. He <laughs> went for a shot from about 40 yards. I'm trying to catch the keeper off. And uh, <laughs> it's a good good save by the keeper. Nearly went in. That's it. Oh. 
Come on! Oh, goodness me. Oh! Have a hit! Oh! Oh my god! Come on, Mask! Half time, it's uh, goal to see between Cook Town and Mask United. Not being a bad half, I have to say. Um, both teams have had their chances. Um, we seem to play down the left hand side and through the middle of the pitch. And um, we keep leaving Connor Smith isolated quite a, a lot, actually. There's been a few times where he's been stood on his own the right hand side and we haven't been passing it to him. And I'm like, well, what's the point of him being there? You know, getting himself in a good position and they're not using him a lot of the times. Um, quite a few questionable decisions from the referee. Uh, they had one or two decent attempts, uh, which didn't go in, but I think there's going to be a goal or two in this second half. And we're off for the second half. We've just had a shot that was tipped onto the post by the keeper. Where we, uh, I didn't get it on camera because I was trying to... I was, I was faffing about with something, so... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on! Hit it! Get in! Penalty! <laughs> Get in! Get in! Hey! Another pen! That one was. Here comes 2-0, that should be a red. Should be a red. Only a yellow, he's lucky. He's lucky. Oh, good save. Someone's back garden. I'm back home from the match. Very, very eventful. As we were trying to get out of the stadium, there was a gang of 50. And I'm sure you'll have seen the gang that was stood near Tom Joe and all them during the game. They were just there to cause problems for them. And I'm sorry to say this. Well, you're an absolute disgrace. And we, we, I'm trying to get away from the stadium in the car. And the bloody trying to open the car doors, trying to attack Tom and Joe. I'm sorry, but no. What's the point of going to a football match if you're just going to do that? Absolute joke. On to the game. Um, the game wasn't actually too bad. Um, I'm sorry if I had to mention that, but that, that really just overshadowed the game in truth. The game itself was all right. We had two, we had uh, two penalties. One scored, one missed. It was well saved, well. Um, first one was a bit debatable. Second one, I'd say, definite pen. Um, but uh, pff, the second goal, really, uh, <laughs> was a bit of a goal. Mavs scramble was rather scrappy. Kevin Burgess, I think it was, who got the goal. I thought it was an own goal, but by some of it, it was Kevin Burgess. 
Um, Musk are into the next round of the FA Cup and to be honest deserved it Cook didn't really cause us that many problems apart from in the first half they looked more likely to score he had a few chances to run obviously a few chances that Ryan Kepler got to save second half we were a better team and deserved the win thank you all for watching we'll see you guys in a bit bye bye